Hello everyone and welcome to the Rhino Basic tutorial on units. If I make a new file and choose my dimension units to inches, this means that any value in you input inside your model space will be that selected unit. So my new file made in inches, it means that every dimension I input without specifying it will become set as inches. For example, let's make a new box in my model space by clicking on box. And I'll start it somewhere randomly and just typing in 20, 20, and 20. This made a 20 by 20 by 20 inch box. To double check that, you can always type in distance or dist short and select the two corners of the box. And you'll, it will give it the dimension that it is right here in your command bar. So it says 20 inches. Now let's take a look at the units this model space is operating in. We can type in units, and this will bring up an options window showing you all the information regarding your model space units. Here you can change the way Rhino gives out dimensions. So it gives us fractional dimensions rather than the default decimal. So I'll change it to fraction. And we can also change the units of our model space. If we decided to change the model units into feet, we would need to scale the model accordingly for it to maintain the size. For example, if we don't scale our model, and we measure its distance now, the box will be 20 feet. If I press Control Z and go back, type in units again, change it to feet, and I do want to scale it. Now I'll zoom in on it and measure its distance. The box is now one and three quarter feet. If I want a more specific dimension, I can type in units, change it to feet and inches, this gives you an option to choose a precision. Quarter inch is fine for now. You should probably work on something less than that, maybe 132nd or 164th. OK. Now I click distance. Let's measure it again. And I will say 1 foot and 8 inches, which is your 20-inch box.